hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn how to use a split and join operator in the powershell let's get started here is a split operator that symbol used hyphen split and what is the split operator the split operator split one or more string into the substring that means it, it will divide your substring to the multiple names so you can change the following element of the split operations like the delimiter the split operator in the powershell uses a regular expression in the delimiter rather than a single character the default is the white space but you can specify the character a string pattern or the script block that is specified in the delimiter options that is specify in the conditions under which is the delimiter is match such as a simple match and the multi-line now let's take example of the split operator hyphen split and the input value is red yellow blue green and everything in the inside the double chord how it will split the value it will split red then next line yellow next line blue and the green and if we write the same thing it like a last name if you write it down starting the name your input value double code last name colon first name colon and the address and you are splitting now with the semicolon colon that output will be last name first name and the address this is the another example what we can use let me go to the powershell and let's see how we can use this command line hyphen split and write it down anything which you want to uh, split let's take a red yellow and blue and green and enter so now it is split into red yellow green blue in this here is the extra comma is added that's why it, the comma is added here if you remove it and hitting the enter it will give you the output in the split way it is split the value next example let me show you just write it down inside the command let's take a last name and then comma and the first name f the first name colon a double d address a double sorry a double d r e double s addresses and then use the split sp lit split and on what basis you are using splitting the colon and enter it will split the name and the column colon by default uh, if it if in between there is a space no need to define the delimiter here if there is no space and any extra uh, any extra uh, things are there then use the delimiter here now let's go to the next slide join operator the string are append the result string in the order of they are appearing in the command so basically it will use to append the two two or three values or the multiple values the join operator on continent a is set of a string into a single string that means is it will add the uh, it will add the multiple string to a single st string let's take example hyphen join a b c and the output will be a b c and if you join in the bracket join a comma b comma c and then output will be a b c and if you are joining in that way dollar x equal to a b c and hyphen join dollar x then it will be a a b c that's that is the perfect example here let's take example and write it down here on the powershell how we can do that join and now inside the bracket sorry let's take example first for without bracket a comma b comma c and then enter 
now it will uh, it will join as a a b c but it is not in a sequence it is in a different line how you can make it in a same line join and start bracket and end the bracket and write it down all the entries inside the bracket dollar a comma sorry uh, no dollar simple a b and comma write it down here c and enter this so all these value inside the bracket that will add all together but if you are writing a separate separate value that will not join that will not add it but it will show in a different different line let's take example dollar x equal to and defining the value here like a comma b comma c and now value is stored inside the dollar x now oh, join hyphen join and dollar x then output will be a b c because these value is stored inside the dollar x and you are joining the dollar all the value all together inside the dollar x that is comes a b c let's take another example here cls join and uh, let me take a what I can write here the windows and now comma PowerShell and then comma 2.0 and enter oh something goes wrong okay sorry I have not write it hyphen now it comes let me show you again if you are joining the out uh, the words power shell and this word anything you can add it and that will be print like this value because there is a no bracket if you want to make it combine together write it down this value in starting and now use the join and use it with the space okay let's try with this oh come on something goes wrong join and now join with what which is space now the output is there I forgot to define the delimiter if you are using the join command in starting the no delimiter is required if you are using of after the input value the delimiter is required and the output is like a PowerShell if you are doing the delimiter here something like this semicolon and the output will be Windows semicolon PowerShell colon 2.0 that's how you can use the delimiter now let's take example dollar a equal to i define a variable value is w i n d it's a wind comma now go fair for s space p and then enter the value e r s h e double l now what is the purpose to writing in that way I will show you now the output is dollar a is a wind as p e r cell how your join will add here let's join dollar a hyphen join and o w so now the o w will merge with this uh, uh, wind and s this will split together and after the p o w will add with the e r shell now output will be windows power shell that's how the split uh, sorry the, that's how the join command will add your the values together let me go back to the ppt here is the next slide what example i shows you so that's how you can use the split and join command so thank you for watching this video guys see you soon in my next video